Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to unbox Western Digital 2TB hard disk, blue color, and also configure it to work as a time machine on my MacBook. So let's get started. So here we are, this is the one which I was talking about. The cost over here is mentioned as 8,385 rupees, but I got it in Amazon for a very lesser price, which I'll be showing it later. And this is manufactured in the UK as it mentioned here, and it's been imported from Thailand. Right, so let's open the box. the hard disk here the user manual and the connecting cable i have to admit this hard disk is so slim and moreover this is not an ssd this is a hdd and i'm surprised that it's in such a compact form factor you know when compared to my old seagate hard disk nowadays hard disks are getting more and more compact you can see literally how slim and small the western digital is compared to seagate and this one over here is 1.5 tb whereas this is 2 tb i have to say when compared to my wallet it's roughly the same size moreover i say it's thinner and slimmer than my wallet i like this blue color because it's kind of unique most of the time hard disk is always black and nowadays the manufacturer are coming up with attractive colors which is good all right so let's connect this hard disk to the macbook <music> great i can see hard disk has been detected by my mac there is already a software dmg file present in the hard disk it's good that uh, they have kept both the version one for mac and one for windows so let me go ahead and install the mac version of the software So we can see the software is getting installed. Now that the hard disk is recognized by my Mac, I'm going to configure this hard disk to be used completely as a time machine. So one of the primary reason I took this hard disk, which is a HDD instead of an SSD is because I want to use this for the purpose of backing up my MacBook. And the MacBook which I have here is two terabytes. So I needed a two terabyte hard disk so I can take a full backup using the time machine. All right, so let's open the time machine. Open time machine preference. I have to select the disk. So I'm gonna select my passport, which is the new hard disk. Use this disk. Okay, do you wanna stop backing up to the time machine backup and use my passport? yeah i would suggest that okay so it's going to erase it because it's gonna format it according to the mac os recognized format so i'm gonna click on erase so here we can see the next backup is scheduled within so and so seconds you can also deselect this option backup automatically because every time when you connect this hard disk it automatically takes backup so if you don't like that then you can uncheck this option and there is one more option here which we need to select here you can exclude a particular directory from taking backup for example here i have so many of them desktop downloads movies if you add them here these directories will not be backed up into your time machine so i'm gonna remove all of them 
so i need a full backup and there is one more option where it says backup while on battery power so it's up to you whether you want this to be checked by default it is checked so i will leave as it is i'm going to click on save i'm going to check backup automatically it says the next backup is scheduled at 5 9 pm the time here it's 4 10 pm so within an hour's time it will run a next backup or you have the option to pack it up now for example if you click the this is the there's a shortcut on my menu bar so if you click on that and you can see the option backup now which will run the backup if you want to use the external hard disk only part of it for time machine and remaining for your storing your personal data then you need to open disk utility select the external hard disk and uh, select on partition so you can see here it's recognize the complete 2 terabyte partition here you can click on the plus sign add partition it automatically divides the partition into two equal halves you can keep one of them for your personal data and other one for time machine for example if you want to use this partition for time machine name it as time machine and click on apply it will create and once it's created you need to follow the same steps go into time machine and open time machine preference and select that particular partition for time machine in my case as i mentioned earlier i'm going to use the complete 2 terabyte for backup so i'm not going to create any partition as of now another difference which i noticed when compared to my old hard disk is the earlier generation hard disk had the support legs at the bottom so it protects the hard disk when it's placed on the surface or when it falls down which is not present in the new hard disk it's quite plain which is kind of neat but i'm sure that there would be some kind of shock proof built in inside the finish is very good and i can see there is this cutouts for grip nowadays the way hard disks are getting so compact is very surprising i would like to show my uh, very old hard disk this hard disk is 15 years old and you can literally compare how gigantic and huge this one is and this is of 1 terabyte seagate and you can see how 2 terabyte wd hard disk is literally tiny in front of this moreover this is not an ssd this is a regular hdd you can see in amazon wd 2 tb hard disk is available for 5299 rupees there is always some other other discount so it's a good deal and you can see for the specification here you can see here it's an hdd and coming to the item weight it's 120 gram that explains how light it is i hope you enjoyed my video please hit the subscribe button and click on like also let me know what's your opinion about this thanks for watching cheers